Uh, our overall poll winners from Audi Sport, Team Yoast, uh, Marcel Fassler and Ben Wild, Trelio A. Congratulations, I'll start with you, Marcel. Uh, a good first couple of laps, I think you went for a third lap as well, uh, and you did the fastest lap of the weekend so far, so uh, it looked like you had the car hooked up from the word go, and it uh, everything went according to plan. Yeah, I'm sure uh, we try to push as hard as possible, and as we have seen that the third lap is quite competitive too, to the second one, to the fastest one, uh, we try to take this lap with us. I think it's quite important for the average, so uh, I think that this additional one lap doesn't hurt us so much. And uh, I think because the the third one was definitely much faster than my very first one, this was a quite uh, I think for me a crucial thing to to go to finish it. Uh, onto you, Benoit. The third lap was crucial for you because after your second lap, you'd actually fallen behind uh, your your sister car, but then you pulled it out and put it back on pole. Was that uh, that was significant? I guess. Yeah, it was quite difficult. Uh, for, honestly, I didn't drive so much from the beginning of the weekend. This morning, the car was pretty good, and uh, this afternoon, when I took the car, it was a bit too much understeer for my type of driving. And, I was driving with it and then I got the yellow flag in the first corner, first lap, the second lap, and after I had to do another lap. So obviously it was a little bit stressful because I uh, got so much traffic in the yellow flag, but uh, at the end we could uh, achieve that uh, ball position and uh, lucky that Marcel did a fantastic job and uh, I'm pretty happy about the car. We still have to adjust a little bit, but it's okay. Obviously, maximizing your points. Uh it's going to be important for you as you try to close down the gap to your teammates. Just tell us what your thoughts are for the race and what your strategy is going to be. The strategy is very simple, flat out everywhere. <laughs> right. I mean, do you feel that the pressure is on because you literally, I mean, if, you know, you've got a 30 point gap to close and that's... Uh, 29. 29, yeah, sorry, I sound correct. <laughs> No, for sure, but it's, it's not a lot of pressure. I mean, uh, it's our sister car, and the main target uh, for a factory driver is to, to bring the, the manufacturer on the top of the program at the end of the year. And uh, last year we won the championship, this year we've been a bit unlucky at the moment. And, uh, it's a good target, you know, and it's a good situation in somehow because you just have to push like hell, and it's what we like, so uh, it's okay, it's no pressure. Okay, moving, moving on to our LMP2 poll winners, Mike Conway and John Martin from G-Drive G Delta ADR. That's, that's a bit of a mouthful, but uh, congrat congratulations. Uh, again, a little bit of a close battle with the Peacock car uh, on its, uh, yeah, also, also in Orica. Just tell us a little bit about your qualifying, how it went for you, Mike. Yeah, obviously, start. as always, a very competitive field, so, um, yeah, you've got to be on it in qualifying. And uh, my two laps are alright. I thought the third one could have been quicker, but obviously over the average, I knew that I had to give John some better tyres, so um, I bought that lap and came in. And obviously John put in two good laps as well, uh, enough to get us the P1. So um, yeah, the car's been good from the outset, really. It's um, you know hard to know what people do with tyres, different compounds, stuff like that. So we'll find out, I'm sure, during the race. But um, pretty happy with what we have. And I think we'll be good, good tomorrow. And um, a big thanks to all the team, ADR Delta and G Drive, for um, giving us a good car. John, we've seen, uh, we saw at the first session that the uh, that looked like Oak were on top of the Morgan, but then we've seen from both uh, G Drive cars some good times. Do you think? Do you think the team has now sort of hit the sweet spot with the setup, and you're going to have a good race tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Um, I think we've showed pace all year, so I think this is uh, about time really uh, that we're up here. But, uh, uh, yeah, as Mike said as well, I think, uh, we don't know what the other cars are on top down was, so I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Hopefully they're on, they're on the same one as us, but uh, even if they're not, I'm uh, quite confident that we can make what we've got work. So I'm uh, pretty happy we made some changes to Quali and uh, yeah, it was definitely a step forward, so looking forward to the race now. Everyone's talking about double sprinting, or rather, everyone's asking if it's possible. What are your thoughts about that? Um, yeah, maybe not early on, but yeah, as the race goes on, yeah, possibly. Okay, I'm going to switch to the other end of the table now. Sorry, I forgot. 
I forgot how late covers there from Rebellion Racing, Nick Heidfeld and uh, Nico Cross. Uh, Nick, uh, congratulations, but obviously <laughs> a one a one car class. Uh, I mean. I mean, you're not quite as close to the factory cars as you have been earlier in the season. Is there a little bit of a disappointment there? No, there's no disappointment. I don't know how much development goes uh, on the factory teams at the moment. Obviously, we don't have. We are focusing 100% on next year. There's no competition in the privateers class for us, but um, it's interesting from the perspective that we can try things that we normally wouldn't because there's not so much competition now. We just try different setups, and that's what we did here this weekend, which was quite interesting. We found something that was better, and um, not usual. We did a bigger change for, for Quali, but um, the car was still, still not too bad. Um, as for the others, we had a bit more understeer, so it's interesting to hear that. So I, I guess it's not the, the setup, probably, for the circuits that was changed. Nico, I mean, I guess, you know, you're not just racing for, for victory in class, because there's you know, if one of the uh, works cars trips up, uh, there's a chance of an overall podium. So I guess that has to be your, your aim tomorrow. Yeah, of course, with only three works cars, we have maybe an opportunity of a podium, and uh, we still have to deliver a strong race. I think it's good for us, to the drivers, to keep warm for the future, you know. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have competition. We would love to have some, but uh, so yeah, we have to aim for the works cars, which would not be easy. Okay.